Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about, is Kenya more back taxes? The real reason she has a beef with Nini, plus Yovana News. Finally guys, finally, 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 the season is over of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Thank God, okay? Now I like the damn show, I really, really do. But that does not mean I want to see it every single day for the rest of my damn life, okay? When the episodes weren't airing, they were in the tabloids yelling and arguing with each other it was just long and drawn out Cha, i'm glad it is over but last night's episode was really good and it was really good to me because i finally got clarity okay i finally understood what the hell was going on with this kenya and nini beef because that's really getting on my nerve okay let's just be honest let's be real how long can we watch two damn people fight over nothing over and over and over again so I'm glad that season's over, but I finally got a answer to my question. I've been asking, what's at the root of this? Why, why are we still arguing? What the hell going on? Can somebody please tell me what the hell is going on? Cause it was getting on my nerve, okay? Just two grown ass women. Kenya keeps calling um, Nene a grandma. She's just one year, one or two years younger than her. They're both too damn old, okay? Both of them too damn old to be arguing like this. Well. Did you guys hear the news? It's probably like three, four days ago. The Blast reported that Kenya was um, backed up in her taxes. She owed back taxes. And then Michelle, straight from the A, she also reported it too. The research, it found out she was delinquent on taxes. They're going to delinquent 27311, 27311, and the most recent one, $152,678.36. Now, first of all, I was just amazed how she got a record of the damn taxes to begin with. I mean, damn, is this a Richard Nixon Watergate situation? But listen, I don't care how she got the receipts. She had the receipts. Kenya is definitely behind on her taxes, which means that she owes them a lot, a lot of money, okay, people? A lot of money. It all makes sense, okay? She's in debt, people, okay? Kenya needs this job no matter what, okay? She has to pay her taxes off. Mark's back in debt again. She's going to keep paying his taxes and stuff because, you know, it don't seem like that damn restaurant is pulling in too many people. Is that bad? No, 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 it's not bad. Listen, she needs money, and she needs it right away. So when I look at it that way, Kenya's only trying to do, all she's trying to do is pay the rent. And, you know, in, in secret, she thinks don't nobody know why she's cutting up and acting a fool. But we all see right through it. The minute these taxes came to light, I was like, okay, this girl just need money. And she was going to stretch this out until God knows when, until she pay off that damn debt. Which she probably would be able to do next season. That's why it's real important for her to come back. Okay? If she got to call Nene a moose, she going to do that. If she has to buy a husband and a best friend, because let's just face it, people, we know that Cynthia's on her payroll. If she has to buy a husband and a best friend, she going to do that. If she has to go to Candy and tell Candy, there's nothing wrong with marrying a damn man that damn short, she going to do that. She going to do whatever she has to do by any means necessary to keep that job. She's got to pay the rent, okay? And I can't be mad at her, people. That's what you got to do. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Let me tell you, I'm telling you, I got to feed my kids and myself. We need a damn roof over our head. So I ain't hating on Kenya. The only part that I am hating on is that she should have told us at the beginning of the season. Okay? Like, listen, y'all, I'm going to be a little childish. Okay? I'm going to be a little juvenile because I got bills to pay. My house about to fall in the foreclosure. I would have been up front. And then we would have been, oh, go ahead, girl, make your money. I would have planned on it, you know. Okay, here come the fight. Here come the fight. Want my popcorn? That's all. She should have just told us up front. But she was on her job last night, okay? Every time they mentioned the name Nene, she either snickered, rolled her eyes. One time she even called her a punk. And I sat through the whole thing. I didn't mind any of it because I knew she was trying to pay off them damn taxes, okay? She got tax liens, people, she worried about. But it is getting a little nerve-wracking that this morning she decided to work the overtime shift, okay? Here she goes this morning still talking about Nene. This time she was on Candy's uh, YouTube channel. She was going to allegedly sue Bravo and sue Truly because she was talking about how, oh, she's having all these great meetings, but then nothing happens after that. So she was trying to say or allege that they were stopping her from getting other work. 
Here's the thing. Nobody's stopping you from getting other work. You're not talented. You don't need to be on anyone else's TV screen doing anything other than looking like a complete buffoon. If you could act, if you could dance, if you could sing more pretty, then maybe you would get another opportunity or another show. You see what I mean? Every time she gets a chance to drag the hell out of Nene, she's going to do it because she's got bills to pay people. Now, I don't know what she's going to do now that the season's over with. I mean, maybe... Get some, um, pick up a couple hours at Macy's or something. But anyway, that's how the damn reunion went all last night. Just her trash talking um, Nene and Nene not coming back, which I think she should have come back and at least defended herself. But you know, I understand when you get tired of people sometimes, sometimes you just need a break and I'll see you next season. So that's probably what's going to happen. They're going to keep this fight going on until Kenya's damn taxes get paid off. And it's a lot of money, people, over $200,000. Oh, I don't know if I could take it. But that's how most of the night went. And then we forgot. My second favorite part of the night would be uh, Cynthia was on full display, people. She was not holding back the fact that she has Stockholm Syndrome, okay? Do you guys know what that is? It's when you fall in love with your captor. She is in love, people, with Kenya, okay? Kenya can do no wrong. I mean, don't you understand that Kenya has taken you hostage, okay, and controls every thought that goes into your head? She don't understand it, people. She's in love. She was defending her captor last night. She was saying that Andy said, how come you don't hold Kenya accountable for things like you do Nini? I hold... Uh, Kenya accountable. Here's Kenya in the background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, she holds me accountable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Child, it was pathetic. Just downright sad. But the biggest shit show of the night, if you ask me, would be the whole Yovana storyline, okay? First of all, Yovana, you owe back taxes too? I mean, she is going hard after Nini. This girl needs money, 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 okay? It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So I would say she gave us probably her third excuse for the night of the whole snake gate situation. This time she said not only did Nini ask her to tape Cynthia, she also asked her to tape all of the women. Okay, now, now I don't think Yovana dragging the hell out of Nini every time she sees her is going to work like it does for Kenya. It's just not going to work for Yovana. She's got to try something else. I don't know what she's going to Try prostitution. You know, it'll only be a couple months. I'm sure your debt isn't that big, not like Kenya's. Just try prostitution. But I don't think every time you see Nini dragging the hell out of her, it's going to work for you. I just don't. Did you see the way you were getting on Candy's last nerve? It's just not going to work. I mean, I hope I never see you again. It's getting on my damn nerve, okay? You're lying. You are lying. In my opinion, you're lying. And ain't nobody got time for it. You know, that's why I say you should try prostitution. You won't be that long, in my opinion. Now, besides that, there really wasn't too much more going on. What I was hoping would happen would be someone from production would come up and hand Eva her exit papers, you know, like get her out of here immediately. But that didn't happen. So I guess I got to wait till next season for that. But I would give this episode, I don't know, this reunion is probably like a B. It wasn't that good. It wasn't that bad. It, it was okay. I'll give it a B. It was classic, you know. Atlanta style so it was pretty good but as I say in every video we all have our different opinions and that just happens to be mine so what I want to know today in my comment section is what did you guys think of last night's part three of the reunion also if you like this video don't forget to click that like button if you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys on the next video bye